Welcome back. Now we're introducing brackets into the mix. So this can make things a little more complicated because we have to kind of work our way inwardly. Actually, I just heard from someone a good analogy is working your way into the middle of a, one of those Russian nesting dolls. You're going from the outside in. So what do I mean? You have to get rid of the things outside of the brackets before you can eliminate the bracket. So in this case, we've got to get rid of this minus two somehow before we can get eliminating our brackets. Then we can do what's inside the bracket. And now this solution can be done in multiple ways actually. Somehow we got to get rid of minus two. We can actually divide both sides by minus two or multiply it in. Generally I'd recommend multiplying it in because otherwise you're going to have to work with a fraction the whole way through. But I'll show you both solutions and you can decide for yourself what you like best. So first way, I'm going to go with the one I prefer and multiply it in. So we got minus two and when we want to get rid of this, actually I'm just going to start off by writing it. Minus six y equals eleven. So if I want to get rid of this minus two, I got to multiply it in and that means I got to multiply by everything in the bracket. This term and this term. I don't multiply the six and the y because they're all one term. I have to multiply each term. So minus two times four gives me minus eight. Minus six y times minus two becomes plus twelve. Remember, two minuses cancel out. And this side doesn't get touched. We didn't introduce something new into the equation, so that side doesn't get touched. And then we're back to doing our usual trying to solve for y. So I have to get rid of this eight. Well, minus eight, what do I have to do? The opposite, plus eight. So we got the plus 12y equals 11 plus eight. As always, both sides, these will cancel. 12y equals 11 plus eight, or in other words, 19. And then we gotta do the opposite. Again, what's being done to the y? We're multiplying. So divide both sides by 12. And we got y equals 19 over 12. Which we can't reduce, but well, we got an ugly fraction. So, oh well. If we wanted to, we could also think of this as 1 and 7 twelfths. Meh, same diff. Great. What was the other solution? We could actually divide both sides by minus 2 first. So, we got minus 2 times 4 minus 6y equals 11. Divide both sides by minus 2 because that's what's being done to the outer bracket. So if we would get rid of the minus 2, we'll be able to get rid of the bracket. But again, we got this weird ugly fraction over here now. But these at least cancel and we're left with 4 minus 6y equals minus 11 over 2. A minus on the bottom, minus on top mean the same thing. So now once again we're solving for y. We get 4 well, we have to subtract the 4 from both sides. Equals 11 over 2 minus 4. We're going to put a big line down the middle to separate these two solutions. And if we want to add these, or if we want to combine these, they have to have the same root on the bottom, the same, power, the same number on the bottom. So, still have minus 6y on this side. And what we got to do, Put this as minus 11 over 2. If I want to put this as 2 on the bottom, it's the same as saying minus 8 over 2. Now I can combine them. Minus 6y equals minus 19 over 2. Now I can finally get rid of the 6. I'm still solving for y. Well, I have to divide by minus 6y to get rid of a multiplying of minus 6. Divide by minus 6, sorry, not minus 6y, just minus 6. I'm dividing this whole thing by minus 6. Well, they're going to combine at the bottom there. These cancel. We get y equals the minus 19. I'm leaving the minus in there. We'll get rid of it in a second. 6 and 2, since they're both on the bottom, they multiply together. We get all over minus 12. But the minus and the minus cancel. So finally, just like before, we get 19 over 12. As always, we must get the same solution. If not, we've done something wrong in one of them. But again, I like this much better. You can see this took me a few extra lines. It's a little messier. Working with fractions depends. Some students don't like that. So figure out which solution works best for you. Try both. Thank you.